Welcome Climate Viewers. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News. It is December 17th, 2015. And this is about as exciting as you can get when you're talking about chemtrails. Um, this just got posted uh, on the 15th. Dr. Long from the Cooperative Institute for Research and Environmental Sciences says, accidental geoengineering airline traffic may be Help, may help create an icy haze that's brightening U.S. skies. So we already know that contrails are trapping heat as much as 5,000 times the IPCC estimates. And here we go. Now we've got another thing to add to the pile. Apparently, ice crystals from jet aircraft are um, brightening the skies by, you know, putting lots of tiny ice crystals up there, something everybody who's ever talked about chemtrails has known for quite a long time. But, of course, it is readily mocked in the, um, by the scientists and especially the geoengineers. So um, this is pretty exciting stuff. I want you guys to read this. Um, it is over here also on the Smithsonian.com. Uh, airplane contrails may be creating accidental geoengineering. Dissipating haze from plane exhaust alters how sunlight reaches the earth and may be unintentionally affecting our climate. A booyah. <laughs> so um, this stuff, I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this. This haze is caused by airplanes. It's gradually whitening blue skies, says Charles Long of NOAA's Earth System Research Lab um, in Boulder, Colorado. We might act be actually conducting some unintentional geoengineering here. Whoa. Okay, so now for the longest time, I've been talking about chemtrails, and I said, you know, um, the the entire problem with the chemtrail community is that they're so so focused on intent, 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 intent. Somebody intentionally did it. They're intentionally spraying the freaking Illuminati New World Order. They're spraying us like bugs, but in reality, I believe that it, you know, somewhere in the middle is the truth, and uh, this this is uh, this is at least a confirmation um, from them that yes. It is geoengineering. Whether it's intentional or not, whether it's accidental or not, planes are geoengineering our skies. Hopefully, we'll get one of these articles on ship tracks in the near future, but we'll just be, um, you know, take this one as a big old win. So, um, you know, that that's one article. Also over here on BBC.com, jet traffic linked to ice haze. Uh, planes may be making high-altitude icy haze that is brightening U.S. skies, according to a group of scientists. Um, Wow, guys, if you look up the definition of geoengineering, it includes large scale manipulation of parts of the climate system or environment. And I believe this ice haze from jet traffic does satisfy that requirement, Chuck Long told reporters. So Chuck Long from the you know Earth Systems Research Lab says it's geoengineering. It fits the definition. You guys got, oh, your face, McWest, your freaking face. So let's go over here. Now, this is something nobody knows about, but I do because I follow it. Um, explaining geoengineering to normal people. Mick West. Mick West is the Darth Vader of chemtrail world. He is the world's leading debunker of chemtrails. He likes to pick on people, and he thinks he knows it all. Now, the world's most hated geoengineer is Ken Caldera. He's the jerk that goes around telling everybody we should do SRM. We should spray the sky with chemicals and block the sun. Now, between Mick West and Ken Caldera, those are the two most hated people in climate science, period. So what would it look like if Mick West and Ken Caldera got into an argument over what geoengineering would look like? Well, he says, so it would be less like this and more like this. See how it's white down here? Oh, wait, Mick. Didn't they just say that it's whitening the skies already? Come on, bro. Don't you know this stuff? So you go down here and then you see uh, Ken Caldera. The sky will not look hazy white. <laughs> it, it didn't look ha hazy white after Mount Pinatubo. It is whiter, but still blue. Maybe slightly hazy blue would be more accurate. So then Ken uh, Mick West comes back with this picture. Well, before SRM, after SRM. See how it's a little whiter up here? <laughs> Are you guys not looking at the sky? Now, I look at my sky on a daily basis. I have since I was a Boy Scout. And um, the second picture there, that's what my sky looks like every day and usually whiter. Dr. Long over here knows that it's whitening the sky. Uh, it's all over the internet now. I can't wait to hear your responses, especially Ken, uh, because he's readily mocked myself and many others who've said planes have been geoengineering the planet forever, whether it's intentional or not. So he says, we did the calculation to attach paper, check this out. 
boom. And then uh, <laughs> Mick West comes back. You know, I understand the color. Duh, 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 duh. Ken, this is Ken Caldera. Well, you see right here, this this one's 100% blue. And this one's slightly less blue. Now, to me, those look exactly the same. Maybe it's my monitor. I don't know. So then Ken, um, Mick West comes back. Well, here's something I did over here. See, this is my phone. And there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're arguing back and forth about how white the sky would be if they geoengineered when we already know they are geoengineered. <laughs> I love it. It's so in your face, Mick West. So in your face, Ken Caldera. Come over here to uh, climateviewer.com and check out the history of artificial clouds, how to geoengineer a planet with jet fuel. And you'll see that, you know, we've already covered this stuff, you know. Since 1958, planes have been blocking the skies, uh, sunlight, you know, and you can't really argue with this stuff. As you know, our entire economy is dependent on upon tourist trade, which is predicated on our bright sunshine and warm climate. Recently, our sky has resembled a mob of exuberant sky riders performing an aerial circus. The contrails are breaking down into a haze and creating a cloud-like appearance in the sky. So far, the Air Force is flabbergasted. But 1958, 1968, you know, we've known about this stuff forever, that contrails are affecting the weather, um, that they appear to be geoengineering the planet, and uh, these guys, you know, of course they don't want to admit it. Why would they want to admit it? Um, but now we know uh, we have confirmation from Chuck Long. I look forward to calling this guy because I really want to talk to him about it. But this is about as big a confirmation from the scientific community as you can get. So um, I want you guys to spread this around. Let everybody know because this is a big dang deal. We've known about this geoengineering for quite a while. Um, and I'm trying to hunt something down here. Um, the FAA, see, uh, you know, NASA and the DLR know this to be a fact. They're trying to jigger the contrails around, put new chemicals in them and all that stuff to try to, um, you know, fix, fix the fuel before anybody notices or do something to it. But at this point, we knows. <laughs> we know. So, guys, um, spread it around. Let them know. Let everybody know. Let every chemtrail guy out there know this is geoengineering. And we do know that it's geoengineering. So what are you going to do about it now? That's the next question. Well, anyway, guys, I've been just dying to bring this to you since yesterday. And uh, I can't wait to hear your responses. So spread it around. Show me some love. And uh, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing's going to get better. It's not. Geoengineering, 